everybody. Welcome back to the Financial Freedom Show. My name is Rob Berger. Today, we're going to talk about IRA contributions. There are a lot of rules uh, related to IR contribu IRA contributions that you really need to know. And in fact, we're going to cover nine of them today. I'm also going to show you some resources that are uh, useful from the IRS. I will link to those uh, be below the video. This issue actually came up. A viewer reached out to me and said, hey, Rob, um, are there any age limits to making IRA contributions? In other words, can I, can I be too old? And I'm thinking, boy, I hope not, or I'm in trouble. Anyway, uh, that's not as silly a question as it may seem. We'll actually cover it as we go down our, our list of nine items. But these are important. They can help you, uh, I think, first and foremost, stay out of trouble. And who wants to get in trouble with the IRS? I don't. Uh, but they also may show you some opportunities that you might have to save a little more money for retirement that you might not have known about. So with that, let's jump right in. Uh, number one, let's just start with something we're probably familiar with, and that is contribution limits. There are limits to the amount of money you can contribute each year to uh, an IRA. In, in 2021 and now also in 2022, the limit is $6,000 a year or the amount of your taxable compensation, whichever is less. In other words, you got to make some money before you can contribute to an IRA. Obviously, if you make you know well more than $6,000 a year, not a problem, your limit is 6,000. Sometimes, by the way, you'll, you'll hear it referred to as modified adjusted gross income, and that number comes up in a number of respects when it comes to a retirement accounts. Uh, but the, the thing to, to know is you do have to have taxable compensation. If you only had, let's say, $3,000 of taxable compensation, uh, in, a, in a given a given year, uh, that would be your limit for IRA contributions. The other thing to keep in mind is that um, this is a, a total limit. In other words, you can't open up multiple IRAs and put $6,000 in each. You can't even open up a traditional IRA and then a separate Roth IRA that we'll talk about in a minute and put $6,000 in each. Think of the limit as sort of following your social security number. It's $6,000 per person. Uh, it doesn't matter how many IRA accounts uh, you have opened up. And again, you do have to have taxable compensation, although there's even an exception to that, believe it or not, that we'll come to in a minute. All right. The second thing is, if you're like me and you're 50 or older, you can also contribute what they call a catch-up contribution. I guess they think we're kind of late saving for retirement and they, they, they throw us a bone and let us put a little extra money in, and it's $1,000. So for those 50 or older in 2021, and this is also the limit in 2022, you could put in a total of 7,000. 6,000 based on the, the, the regular uh, contribution limit and then a $1,000 uh, catch-up contribution. Now, if you've kind of noticed that it's been 1,000 for a long time for the catch-up contribution, well, Unfortunately, it's not indexed for inflation, so it'll take an act of Congress for that number to change. The, th the $6,000 number is adjusted for inflation and goes up from time to time. The $1,000 catch-up contribution, I'm afraid, uh, does not. All right, number three, there are no income limits on contributing to a traditional or you know, regular uh, IRA. You can make a million bucks a year and still contribute to an IRA. You know, Tom Brady making 25 million a year, I think it is, playing for the Buccaneers, if he wants to, he can contribute six thousand uh, dollars to an IRA. And is he over than fifty? He might even be older than fifty. I don't think so. But if he were, even Tom Brady could uh, contribute the one thousand dollar catch-up contribution. There is no age limit. Now that's a different rule for Roth IRAs. We'll come to that in a minute. But for traditional, doesn't matter how much you make, you can contribute to an IRA. That's the third thing you should know. However, that brings us to number four. Not all IRA contributions are deductible. Yes, there's always a catch. Depending on your circumstances and how much money you make, your contributions to a traditional IRA may not be deductible. What are the factors that go into that? Well, one will be, believe it or not, whether you're married and your you're filing, tax filing status, uh, whether you have access to a retirement plan at work, if you're married, whether your spouse does, and how much you make. Let me just show you this. And again, I'll leave links to this uh, so that you have it uh, below the video. But here it is. I'll leave a link to this page. And on it, you'll see here, deducting your IRA contributions. And uh, it takes us to another page. And they have it broken down by year. But you'll see this first link is uh, if you are covered by a retirement plan at work. And then the second link is if you are not covered by 
a retirement plan at work and it goes through the details. I'll just show you one here and it walks through. Here is if you are covered by a retirement plan, uh, your tax filing status, your modified adjusted gross income, and then it tells you uh, to what extent uh, your contributions are deductible. Uh, it's sort of the concept behind it, I think this helps understand it, is this. What they're saying is, look, uh, we want to help people out, particularly those people who really need the help. So if you don't have access to a retirement plan at work, and if you're married, assuming your spouse doesn't either, you can deduct uh, your IRA contributions. It doesn't really matter how much you make. But uh, for those that either have access to a retirement plan of their own or through their spouse and make a lot of money, at least a lot according to the IRS, your deduction may be limited or uh, completely eliminated. So it's an important thing to understand. Again, I'll link to the details below the video, but just bear in mind, not all IRA contributions are deductible. Now that brings us to the Roth IRA. Unlike a traditional IRA, you can actually make too much money to contribute to a Roth IRA. Again, I can show you the resource that I'll leave below the video. Here it is, and they show you the limits for 21 and 2022. We'll just take a look at 2022 for a, for a second. And you'll just, you'll pick your filing status, then where your modified adjusted gross income will come in. Uh, and then that tells you whether you can contribute up to the limit or a reduced amount. But the key thing to remember is that your income can prevent you from contributing to a Roth IRA. All right, the sixth thing, and this gets back to the question I received from the viewer, can you be too old to contribute to an IRA? That just doesn't seem right. Well, it turns out that you that used to be the case, at least for traditional IRAs. Once you reached 70 and a half, you couldn't contribute to a traditional IRA, although there was no limit on contributing to the Roth IRA. And the basic idea there is you're, you're contributing after-tax money to the Roth IRA. So the, the IRS was like, yeah, do whatever you want. And there were no required minimum distributions. But that recently changed. And now uh, there are no age limits to, for contributing to either a traditional or a Roth IRA. All right, number seven. Remember I said you had to have taxable compensation to contribute to an IRA. Now we get to the exception, a spousal IRA. So if my spouse works, but I don't, uh, I can still contribute to my IRA, basically based on my spouse's compensation. Uh, the total contributions that we make to those two IRAs can't exceed, in my hypothetical, my spouse's uh, taxable compensation. So that's still a limiting factor. But yeah, if one spouse works and the other doesn't, uh, there, there is such a thing called the spousal IRA, and you'll find information about that in the IRS document. Again, I will link to that below the video. Now, got uh, actually three more. Number eight, you can contribute, and this tricks people, or I get this question a lot, you can contribute to both a workplace retirement account like a 401k or a 403b or the TSP on the one hand, and contribute to an IRA. That is absolutely uh, permitted and a great way to maximize your savings uh, for retirement. Number nine, what happens if you contribute too much? What if you got confused or you didn't know the rules, you thought you can contribute, I don't know, $10,000 into an IRA? What happens if you contribute too much? Well, the bad news is you get a 6% penalty on the excess contribution. Let me actually show you this. Again, this will be in the document that I linked to. Right here it is. Excess contributions are taxed at 6% per year for each year the excess amounts remain in the IRA. We don't want that. So what happens if you contribute too much to the IRA? What do you do about it? Well, basically what you wanna do is take out the excess contributions and any income that was earned from those excess contributions. I think in that case it might be worth getting the help of a tax professional to calculate all of that, but you can remove the excess contributions and any uh, earnings from those contributions to avoid, avoid the penalty. But uh, as you'll see here, back to this document, you need to do it by the due date of your individual income tax return, including extensions. So maybe you extend past, past the deadline, uh, which is typically April 15th, but you need to do that before your, your, you, your, the due date of your individual tax return, including 
any extensions. Very, very important. And that brings us to the last thing. Uh, contribution deadlines for, in this case, 2021. We just, we just uh, uh, moved into 2022. But what's the deadline for contributing uh, to an IRA? And it's actually the due date of your tax return for 2021 contributions. It will be April 15th. And if you're wondering, well, why do they do that? Well, remember, your contribution limit is based in part on your taxable compensation. And we don't always know what our taxable compensation is until after the end of the year. And so the IRS, aware of that, being nice as they are, has given us a little extra time to figure that out so that we can make sure our contribution amounts are consistent with the limits. So you can contribute to a 2021 IRA uh, up to April 15th, 2022. Yeah, this stuff isn't easy and it can be easy to miss things. So whenever it comes to taxes or retirement accounts, I always highly recommend if you have any questions, speak to a tax professional before you make uh, any important moves, any decisions. You don't want to get this wrong. I do my best to get this information correct. I link to what I think are authoritative sources below the video, like the IRS, but I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I've messed things up before in the past. Trust me. So make sure you do your, your due diligence and you get this right before making any decisions. Well, listen, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. And until next time, remember, the best thing money can buy is financial freedom.